In a previous video, we took a concave mirror of focal length two centimeters, and we kept an object six centimeters in front of it. And we asked ourselves where its image would be. And to do that, we use this thing called the mirror formula, which basically connects the image distance, the object distance with the focal length. And by substituting, we figured out that the image would be three centimeters in front of the mirror. In this video, we would like to figure out what is the size of this image, how big this image is. And we also want to figure out whether it's a real image or a virtual image. Now, since we want to figure out the height of this image without drawing ray diagrams, we might guess that we need to use a formula. And if you look at the formula that we know now, that's the mirror formula, Notice that this has nothing to do with heights. There is no heights in this formula at all, which means this is only useful to figure out how far the image is from the mirror. It has nothing to do with how big the image is. So we might guess that there's another formula which might we might have to use, which is concerned with the heights of the images and the objects. And there is, and that other formula is called the magnification formula. We'll talk about why it's called the magnification in a while. But notice that in this formula, the left-hand side, you have H, H stands for height. HI is the height of the image. HO is the height of the object. And you can see that this ratio, the ratio of the heights, the magnification formula is telling us that it's equal to the negative ratio of their distances. Now, before we go ahead and substitute anything, let's talk about why it's called the magnification. And let's only concentrate on the left-hand side. So let's forget about the right-hand part of it, only look at the left-hand side. This left-hand side, this particular ratio, this ratio itself is magnification. What does that mean? Well, let me give an example and then it'll make sense. So let's say that number, this ratio, this ratio was, let's say, um, two. What does that mean? Well, if you substitute this as two, this means that the height of the image equals two times the height of the object. So equals two times the height of the object. So this automatically means that the image is twice magnified compared to the object, isn't it? And that's why, notice, if this ratio is two, if this number is two, it means that the image is twice compared to the object. So don't you see that the number itself is telling you how magnified the image is compared to the object? And that's why the ratio is called magnification. Now this magnification is sign sensitive. Remember our signs? Uh, when it comes to the height, we would usually take the above principal axis as positive and below the principal axis as negative. So if you think about this carefully, in this particular example, when m equals two, we see that height of the image is twice compared to the height of the object. This also means that the image height and the object height have the same sign. Did you see that? So this means that if the object height is positive, like in this example, the image height is also positive. Since both are positive, it means they have the same orientation. Or in other words, image is erect. And we've seen before when image is erect, it's always virtual image. So this also tells us, this number not only tells us how magnified the image is, but by looking at the sign of this number, we can understand whether it's real or virtual. If this sign is positive, like in this example, it means that the image height and the object height have the same orientation, and this automatically means this is a virtual image. Let me take another example, just to be clear. Let's say in the second example, we got this m as minus 0.3. Now, could you tell what this means? I want you to pause the video and think about what is the meaning of this. All right, let's do this. So this tells us that the height of the image is minus 0.3 times the height of the object, isn't it? Minus 0.3 times the height of the object if you substitute. So notice the negative sign is now telling us that the height of the image has the opposite sign compared to the height of the object. See, if, the, if this is positive, this is negative. 
If this is negative, this would be positive. So the negative sign is immediately telling us that the image and the object are inverse in relation, as in the image is inverted compared to the object. And that can only happen when it comes to real images. So just by looking at this sign, we can now say this is negative, it is real. And it's also telling us that the image is 0.3 times compared to the object. 0.3 times magnified means it's actually smaller than the object, isn't it? So notice, just by looking at the sign of this magnification, we can tell whether it's real or virtual. And by looking at the number, we can tell how big the image is compared to the object. And that's exactly what we want to find out in this particular scenario. We want to find how big this image is, and we want to find whether it's real or virtual. So all we need to do over here is to figure out what the magnification is in this particular case. So how do we calculate the magnification in this example? Well, notice that we don't know the height of the object or the height of the image. All we know over here is the object distance and the image distance and the focal length. So somehow, mag there must be a connection between the magnification and these distances. And that connection is what we call as the magnification formula. And so now let us look at the right hand side. And we can see the connection. So notice, this is telling us that the magnification is equal to the negative ratio of the image distance and the object distance. Now just to clarify how I like to think about this, I don't like to think of magnification equals hi by ho as a, as a formula. Don't think of that as a formula. Think of that as the name. This ratio itself is called as magnification. And whenever I say magnification formula, I'm talking about the connection between the magnification and the distances of the object and the image. Got it? So now that we know the image distance and the object distance, we can figure out what the magnification is. And so from the magnification, now we can figure out the properties of the image. So let me do that over here. So let's get rid of that mirror formula. All right. So we need to calculate the magnification M. And all we need to do to calculate this value, notice, is figure out, uh, substitute image distance and the object distance. But we have to substitute with signs. Quickly recall what the signs was. We take the incident direction as positive. So you start from the pole and you go to the incident direction. Here the incident direction is towards the right. So we'll take the right side. All positions on the right are positive positions. All the positions on the left are negative positions. So great idea to pause the video and see if you can try to do this yourself first. All right, let's do it. So magnification M is going to be equal to minus V over U. I'm just going to use this formula, minus V over U. What is V? V is three centimeters. That's the image distance. But notice the image is on the negative side. So minus three centimeters divided by U. What's U? U is the object distance. An object is also on the negative side. So it will be minus six centimeters. Let's see what we can simplify. Centimeter cancels out. The negative sign cancels out. Three goes one times, three goes two times. So the magnification turns out to be minus half, which we can write as minus 0.5. So we found the magnification. And so the next thing I'm gonna do is write the magnification in terms of the height. So we, that this means M is minus point, point 0.5 means the image height is minus point 0.5 times the object height. Minus point 0.5 times the object height. And this tells us everything about the image. First of all, notice a negative sign. That means it's a real image. That means it's inverted, just like what we discussed before. And another thing is image height is 0.5 times the object height, which means it is half the object height, isn't it? So it's diminished, it's smaller in size and it's half the height of the object. Um, so if the object height is 10 centimeters, this is five centimeters. If the object height is 20 centimeters, this is 10 centimeters. So we have everything that we wanted and we have solved our problem. So to quickly summarize what we learned in this video, we learned this thing called as the magnification formula. We define magnification as the ratio of the image height and the object height. And the sign of the magnification tells us whether it's a real or a virtual image. And the number tells us how magnified the image height is compared to the object height. And if we ever figure, want to figure out magnification in terms of 
when the object and the image distance are given to us, we use this magnification formula. And by the way, if you're interested in figuring out where this formula comes from, then there is a bonus video where we derive this. You can just go ahead and check that out.